Today, I will be teaching you how to solve and sketch a graph of f of x equals x to the third plus 2x squared minus 8x. We will first see what the end behaviors look like. And the end behaviors look like x to the third. If you don't know what that is, sketch a small graph and that is the parent function for x to the third. Next, we will find the zeros. So x to the third plus 8x squared minus by 8x well, should equal zero. I forgot to write that. Um, next step is to factor out an x since there is x is in every exponent and we get x times by x to the third plus, I mean x squared plus 2x minus 8 now factor that even more and we get x times by x minus 2 times by x plus 4 and that should equal 0 um, furthermore set each x to 0 so x equals 0 x minus 2 equals 0 which is x equals 2 x plus 4 equals 0 equals x equals negative 4 and our zeros are 0 2 and negative 4 okay to find near the zeros set each x to 0 or find or for near 0 we want to set each x equal to 0 unless x makes a zero like uh, so so we want to do x times by zero minus by two times by zero plus four that equals x times by negative two times by eight and we should get negative eight x it goes through the line like a line because it is an odd multiplicity so one multiplicity instead of like a squared which would be even and it would bounce for our next one we want to find near 2 so we put a 2 in for x and then a x minus 2 and then a 2 plus by 4 we don't have a 2 in for x right there because 2 minus by 2 would be 0 and that would break the rule so we uh, simplify and we get 2 and a 6 and we want to multiply those because because we're times and all that and we should get 12 times by x minus by 2 and it goes through because there's a 1 multiplicity now if I near negative 4 we put negative 4 right there a negative 4 in for that x and not right there because we do not want that to equal 0 so we get negative 4 times by a negative 6 and that should equal a positive 24 because a negative times a negative is a positive. So 24 times by x plus by 4 and it goes through because it's one multiplicity. Next we want to find between the zeros. So between our zeros, well remember our zeros are 0, negative 4, and, and 2. So between negative 4 and 0, just pick a number like I, I did so negative 1 and plug negative 1 in for each x so we get negative 1 times by negative 1 minus 2 times by negative 1 plus by 4 and we get negative 1 times by negative 3 plus by 3 I mean times by 3 and we get negative 1 times by negative 9 and a, positive, a negative times by a negative is a positive and we get 9 now we want to do between 0 and 2 so I picked 1 because this is an easy number to work with so plug 1 in for each x so, and we get 1 times by 1 minus 2 times by 1 plus by 4 and we get 1 times by negative 1 times by 5 oh, I'm getting kind of shaky there sorry and so we get 1 times by negative 5 
and between 0 and 2 is a negative 5. Now to graph. Um, probably would be easiest way would be sketching it as like I'm recording but that's kind of difficult and probably get really shaky. So first step, plot our zeros. So zero zero right there, two zero, and negative four zero. And like we said in step two, I think it was, yep, that they go through. So they go through right there, right there, and right there. Because we know what our parent function is, it's going to go down and up. And that pretty much means this one has to go through like that. Then we want to plot our between the zeros. So we, have, we picked negative 1 and 9 was our answer. So we plot that up there and we have 1, negative 5 and we plot 1, negative 5 right there. And now we want to connect it in like a continuous continuous like line with no breaks in it. Um, so and uh, it will go past the dot right there and right there because we don't know exact like endpoints and we need calculus for that so it will go like this come down through there go down a little bit more and come up like that just forget this one I didn't it was on accident it was just bad graphing I guess so forget that so it will just come up like this and that's how you graph it. Hopefully your graph looks better than mine, but I think that's all you need to know. It doesn't need to be perfect, it just has to kind of look like that. Um, anyways, thank you, and I hope you learned how to solve for number or question number nine. Thank you.